welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, I am persuaded. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus the Lord. Romans 8, 37 through 39. Uncertainty is one of the most challenging of human problems to have contend with. It is a place of being somewhere in the middle. You have traveled too far from the start, but not far enough to get to the destination. It is that deadly middle of uncertainty. Have you ever been there, a place of uncertainty? Have you ever been in a place where it seemed you couldn't get a firm foundation to stand on? Been in a place where you're not certain of how the next day was going to turn out? Uncertainty have a way of uh, unnerving us, almost to the point where we become paralyzed. Listen, you won't live very long until you come to understand that a lot of people live in a place of uncertainty. What a day is it that we're living in? It is truly unprecedented paranoia, fear, anxiety, and terror. When you see some of the things that are happening, you tend to wonder, is there anybody who's really trusting in the Lord right now? Question, is there a virus? Yes. Is it deadly? Yes. Will someone we know die from it? It's very possible. But does that mean that God is not on his throne? Absolutely not. Did you know that in America, over 40,000 people die in automobile accidents? An additional 20 to 50 million are injured or disabled. More than half of all the road traffic deaths occur among young adults ages 15 to 44. But do we tell our children that they can't drive until they're 45? No, we give them the keys and say a prayer over them and trust that the God we serve will take care of our children. Is flu dangerous? Yes, it is. Is this corona dangerous? Yes. Is driving a car dangerous? Very much so. But David said in Psalm 91 verse 5, Thou shalt not be afraid by the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fight by day. Sad to say, while the church appears as if it's losing its faith, the world is thus carrying on. We see, instead of making adjustment, many churches are canceling their functions. Yet some fest was still held. Let me ask, where is our faith in God? Where is our trust in His provision? Where is our confidence in His ability to bless us, even in the midst of a drought? How many years have you been coming to church? How many messages have you heard? Hundreds? Maybe thousands? And what have all these messages been telling you? That God is in control. That He loves you. That He has a plan and a purpose for your life. That nothing is going to separate you from Him. I want to tell somebody today, trust God. Have confidence in Him. Have confidence in His ability to provide. Have confidence in His ability to heal. Philippians 4 remind us, But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Paul said that he's persuaded that God is able. When you talk about persuasion, you're talking about somebody who has had an experience with God. And our experience with God yesterday should tell us what he's able to do tomorrow. Let us not fear, but have confidence in God. Let us be persuaded. The thought of the day, no matter how dark it might get, victory still belongs to Jesus. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, we Promise keeper, light in the darkness.